<laughs> I always look good, you little bitch. My saw. Oh, yep. Thanks. Oh, look, we match. We match. We're literally, this is what happens when you hang out too much. We're wearing the same <laughs> fucking outfit. Same fucking. Are we wearing the same sweater? Almost. I'm oh, wearing the new one. one. If you want our sweaters, use our codes. Code Conquer 10. Cut it before you can say that. <laughs> My girl, <laughs> they look a little more presentable now. Look beautiful this morning. My lips look better. I can't find my, um. okay, let's see. The options I have. I want the clear Fenty, this is nice. I only have the one that you told me to get. Oh. Ooh, I have this one. Okay, what did you, what, what's the one in your mouth? <laughs> Velvet Teddy. I just dab it to make it look natural. That oh, way no nice. one will know I wear lipstick to the gym. This is nice. Oh, I use that deodorant this morning too. Fuck. That's the worst. So when you <laughs> drop your phone there, it's even worse. Oh, this is nice, the clear one. I want this one. Yeah, that one's my favorite because it doesn't really matter what lipstick you're wearing and stuff. Mmm, look at my lips. Mwah! I always. Oh. Someone's calling. That's my rider. Oh. Right Hello. Hey, you Um, no, but you can just leave it like right at the door. Okay. Uh, keep somebody okay, the door and leave it okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So sh her rider wear. Oh, you can. Go, you want to go back? I kind of want to wear it. Or should I wear it tomorrow? Wear it tomorrow. Okay, but now it's at the. It's at the door. Hopefully, no one steals it. Yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, they leave for my building. They leave all the packages there too. Like um, it's uh, outside. Oh, they don't even put it in the well, door? Well, it's like in the doors. He said he's gonna wait for somebody, but... Oh. Yeah, like, we... So, we ordered this... Reordered the scale. Like, they sent me a new one. And it came yesterday by 10 p.m. And I didn't even look at the boxes that were in the lobby. But as I was walking in this morning, I went and... We got our scale. For free. Tell them what happened. No. <laughs> no, okay. No, because then my mom's gonna know. I don't want her to... Tell like, them on my YouTube. Okay, fine. Guys, you guys can't hear it on mine. Hi. Um, okay, so... Oh! <laughs> um, Come up and personal. <laughs> um, okay, so... I was... Okay, so I wanted to make tea because I was fucking hungry. And, like, I haven't made tea yet on this prep at night. But, like, I'm actually following my diet and hunger is up. So, anyways, I wanted to make tea. And we don't have a kettle yet, so I use like a pot to boil water and so I turned on the pot and then went to my the bathroom to like organize and put stuff away and then I smell something like I thought it was from me cleaning underneath and like I have no idea I smelled something fucking go in the kitchen the scale is on the other burner okay first of all I don't know why the scale is on the fucking stove I don't do that <laughs> doesn't want to Throw them under the Yeah, house. anyways, but I turn I I wasn't paying attention, so it is my fault. I should have been more careful. I turned on the wrong burner. So I turned on the burner that the six scale was sitting on. So the plastic was melting onto the stove and fucking went up in smoke like so much. The fire alarm didn't go off, but it was bad. And Robin was sleeping, so I'm like yelling, Oh my god, oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? He literally just went to sleep. I didn't even know he was sleeping yet. So I was like, what's taking him so long to come help me? Comes out smoke everywhere. Like I opened the whatever, opened the doors, you know, aired it out, but like fucked up my stove, like melted plastic all over it. Um, but yeah, I went and got baking soda. Baking so if you ever do this, baking soda and water, make it into a paste and then put it all over the stove, let it sit for like 20 minutes and then scrub the shit out of it. Yeah. So like it looks on an electric. Right? Like uh, or whatever those it's are. Like a like, glass one. It's, it's not like the coil. Like. Yeah, no, no. It's like a glass stove or whatever. So yeah. Um looks good as new to me. Wish I didn't do that. Like almost burned down my beautiful new spot. But <laughs> woo! <laughs> but you know, now we, that's just a lesson, like, you know, to be more careful. Yeah, so, and now she has a new scale. <laughs> yeah, and I got it for free because I messaged Amazon and told them that my scale doesn't work. Like the 
it's reading. <laughs> I it's, on fire. <laughs> I tell him that. I said, I said that it's not reading the numbers right because this did happen before. Just don't put your finger right here because there's a volume thing. Okay. Um, yeah. So I just said that the scale number wasn't working. Like it was like reading the numbers wrong, and they like sent me a new one. So yeah. And they didn't even ask for me. The, I thought they were gonna ask for me to send the other one back, but I, I was just like, I can't give you the other one back <laughs> because I, I said it, did, it doesn't work, so I threw it out already. Yeah. Meanwhile, it was burnt to shit. It's like like it you, fucking ashes. Oh my god, it's like melted. Like even I think like the electrical cords almost got, got into it. So never doing that again. I'm Yeah, look, tell me what's the vibes, what's the moves? Yeah, I just hit a mic key for the juice. Yeah, ain't no captain, I'ma tell the truth. I've been winning for so long, it's hard to lose. Yeah, deal, be my source, uh, Christian, like the yeah. I can't stop when I'm far, I just get back up. Yeah, I've been quiet all along on my TV toes. Yeah, I can't keep it to myself, I just give and go. I'm a visionist, yeah, you can't picture this, yeah. Sippin' essential, that's the essential, I'm influential Yeah, so fundamental, that's fundamental, on instrumentals Yeah, speed of the tempo, yeah, we got potential Shit a movie like I'm Denzel, running my route to the end zone And he's sticking to find me, man you know where to find me I'm tryna get me a Grammy, so I can dedicate it to my granny Look, tell me what's the vibes, what's the moves Yeah, I just hit on my key for the jewels Yeah, ain't no cap and I'ma tell the truth I've been Okay, I have not washed my counter yet. I'm in the middle of literally like cleaning my entire um, condo space. But I do want to meal prep while I'm cleaning. I want to show you guys this. I got this at Whole Foods. I think I might have shown you this already when I actually purchased it. Um, but I thought it was really interesting. It was on sale. That was the main reason why I it caught my eye. Because to be honest, like these are all the chicken breasts that come in it. So there's about five regular size chicken breast pieces. And I spent 24 like 99 or 24 49 or something plus tag and I think they were like 28 dollars originally so to be honest it's not like a deal that I got or anything for the quantity um but I wanted to show you guys because I already had one of these bags I think it was like a lemon flavor and it was really really good it's really clean meat and then on the back as well um if you look at the nutrition facts the macros and everything are basically the same per piece of chicken breast from my understanding. Oh, for 100 grams. So these are probably like, like I would say that's probably like, let me see. Yeah, they're definitely, they definitely don't all weigh 100 grams. Like that's probably like 150 or 75 grams even. Um, anyways, but yeah, the only thing about this though, um, this is a different flavor, but the lemon one, I think it was hurting my stomach. So I'm gonna try this flavor. If it hurts my stomach, then I'll let you guys know. Um, the only reason why I kind of wanted to show you this was because I want to show you like anything that I do on prep. Like I'm not gonna like say I eat like the like friggin best chicken breasts ever, even though these are really healthy. My point is that like sometimes I will try things like this um, on my prep and just see if it like tastes better, makes me feel more motivated to eat my foods and stuff like that. Because obviously if you're eating the same freaking boring chicken every day, for how many weeks it might get a little bit boring okay yeah um we're just gonna chit chat for a minute but i had a very stressful weekend i'm not gonna lie i was crying a lot because i just felt like everything was not working out well as you guys know i left james um we're on good terms he's always gonna be like a friend of mine we were friends first and then we started coaching together for a couple of years, I guess, or a year and a half. Um, and honestly, like, I just feel like it wasn't working and that's all, I already got into that, so I'm not gonna go back into that conversation, but 
leaving James did add a lot of stress to my plate even though it was my decision I never thought I would leave James um, ever I never like mentally prepared for a shift like that and I am very big on like mental preparation for anything like even like if someone calls me to like go out I have to like mentally prepare a little bit um, yeah so I think it just like added a lot of stress onto my plate because if I'm gonna compete, I wanna go pro. Um, and not just that, like I wanna look really good. I wanna look better than what I was last time and I don't wanna put my body through all that stress because it's a lot. Like if you're, if you're not familiar with bodybuilding and you're thinking about it, this is a lot. This is a lot on your plate that you're adding onto, your mental health, um, your family like environment, your home environment. Um, like everything like it's a really hard thing to go through and I think that me not knowing kind of like which coach to choose even though I do have a handful of options um I don't know it just feels like very stressful to me and feels very like overwhelming and heavy um because yeah like I'm still sad that I left James and it didn't work out um but like it wasn't gonna work out like I, ne I never would have got my pro card I never would have got my pro card I don't care what anybody says I know that what was gonna happen would be not not getting a pro card it would have been something different um so I was gonna listen to my gut on that one and leave and just say like let's just try something different but right now I don't really know what that different thing is I could talk to other coaches um I have asked a coach I know but he's not able to take me and like I I really wanted to go with him to be honest if I was gonna leave and like I have a lot of other good coaches in mind but now I'm kind of like maybe I shouldn't compete like maybe I should just like wait a bit and like think about it um I don't know you know like it's a lot so I love competing but I don't want to just like hand my money over to somebody I don't really know or to somebody I'm not really sure about you know what even is today I think today's July 12th I haven't been vlogging very well lately um I took a couple days to regroup um a little bit just because i had so much going on um right now i'm gonna take some pre-workout i've already had a lot of caffeine today so i'm gonna take my ultra today no sorry i said ultra i meant elite i'm looking for my elite there she is we're gonna take the pink lemonade i'm gonna do a scoop and a half of that this is really good because it's not a stimulant pre-workout oh it's not even focused this is really good because it's not a stimulant pre-workout um so it's good it still has the mental um focus ingredients and everything in it so yeah you'll be good you'll be good to go you can use my discount code too on clothes so if you guys want anything from hd muscle works on everything on their site not just the supplements but if you want any of the apparel the hats um their sweaters are really really good if you go to my Instagram, you'll see I've been wearing this black one. I don't even know if they still have it in stock, but um, it's the new black one. And I think it's $99 on their website. And I'm not joking. I try not to wear it all the time because it's such good quality. I want to keep it for a really long time. Like even if I'm like going to hang out with people and I want to look cute and cozy, like I want to wear that without it being all grungy and like old. Oh my God. <laughs> I am so glad I was not just vlogging there because I feel like I always catch myself being a little bit dramatic while I'm driving. <laughs> a couple people have said I should, sir. This is what I'm talking about. This is the shit I'm saying. This is exactly what I'm fucking saying right now. Nobody knows how to drive, I swear to God. It's like someone just stood on the fucking corner of their lawn being like, you get a driver's license, you get a driver's license. And then I drive by them and I'm like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I get so annoyed. Like, why are you about to hit me? We can take this back. 
Okay, I'll show you guys real quick what I got. See how it looks like super empty? I bought another bunch. I'm gonna have to cut the tags off to like stick in here. I'm also thinking I'm gonna cut some of them so that they're a little shorter, just like a tiny bit shorter, like an inch and a half. I think that looks way better. Oh my God, yeah. That already looks so much better. Oh my God. And then I got one other thing. So I got a little plant. This was like 20 bucks, which is pretty good. See those little things right there? I don't even know if this is gonna fit. I don't know which one it would fit in. Okay, definitely not that one. There we go. Yay. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I mean, I don't really care that this is showing a little bit. At least there's a plant in it now. And now I have to get a mini plant to put in that one. I don't even know, like, I don't even know. I'm gonna have to get one that's like that big. Ask me how bad I want to get a coffee or I wanna make a coffee for my drive. But the problem is I can't do that because Britt and I are going to meet up for a coffee. We're gonna to go to the mall and um, like we both have shit to return. So we just figured we'd go today and then get a coffee at the mall. Um, yeah, so that's the plan, that's what I'm doing. I figured for once in my life, I would wear something that is like regular clothes. I don't even know if you can see it. This top is actually a pajama tank top I got at either Fashion Nova or Shein. And then these pants, um, I wore them in my Coco King photo shoot. Um, I got them like a year and a half ago from Opali and just never wore them. Um, I got a couple pairs to be honest and I guess I have to cut my chicken. Um, yeah, I got a couple pairs from there and like, as you can tell, they're like baggy. And at the time I was like, wow, they make my butt look very flat because of how like non shapeable they are. But now I'm like, I'm really digging 90s kind of looks. I'm enjoying the fact that they're loose. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, so that's that. I need to cut my chicken, it's such a, bad way to do it with a spoon this is such good chicken the whole foods chicken i bought literally no regrets i am so happy i bought it even though it wasn't like any more cost efficient or anything um who's calling me right now fuck hello hey hey i'm like just leaving sorry oh yeah no no don't worry about it okay love you okay. bye love you see ya Hi, how are you? I'm good. For Kristen. Have a good day. I got Venti Cold Brew Light Ice, a pump of vanilla, sugar-free vanilla, almond milk, because Nat told me not to have cream anymore, and then one pack of stevia. 